Hey, Collective. Um, whew. Excuse me while I'm like... Um, where'd my water go? Hold on. Okay, we're good. We're back. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, we are going to talk a bit about... Tarot. Um, just in general, what it is. Not really what it is, but just... How to use your discernment better when watching tarot videos because um, a lot of people are confused about uh, well not that I you know I kind of do see and then also just coming from a point of view where I've been in a seat where I didn't know um, about tarot but the the one good thing for readers um, well for viewers I should say too know about the reader is if they are reading um for a specific issue or if it is a past present future like going across all bounds of time which most readers um do especially if it's just collective readings it mainly is you know timeless um boundless not not constrained by a certain time frame um they can give dates um, that can help uh, spark up what um, what is being talked about or around that time period for some of you as well. But the main point of, of, of using your discernment is to pay attention to see if it resonates with you or if it strikes your ego. Um, I notice a lot of people on tarot videos they'll comment oh this doesn't make any sense or this doesn't resonate with me or the whole classic <laughs> I'm laughing because it's really funny I've seen it so I've seen it on so many people's channels but the whole I'm not gay I don't know like th th then you're not you don't need to announce that this doesn't resonate with you to the world um if it doesn't resonate for you then don't take it a lot of people have issues with using their discernment in readings due to the fact of so many timelines being jambled into like what an hour long 45 minute to an hour long maybe sometimes 30 minute reading um and it's very important to remember that we are all on different timelines at the same time um time is non-existent um on this realm but we use time to constrain um ourselves our beliefs for what we feel should happen we feel like it should happen sooner but what is sooner compared to now uh that's where time comes in and we all make everything confusing but if you get let's say let's say you're listening to a message and it it is in fact like let's say it's between someone named stacy and gerald okay this is just top of the mind shit all right and stacy broke up with gerald but stacy was cheating on gerald and let's say you're one of Gerald's friends and you're trying to find out what the fuck's going on and then you hear a situation about someone cheating on someone and then them breaking up, right? Using your discernment and understanding that yes, Jared did have someone, you know, break up with them. Uh, and yes, Stacy has been acting weird uh, and the reader is describing a lot of things that Stacy has been doing, then yes, most likely... Um, this reading is for you, but let's just say Stacy broke up with Gerald and there was no weird evidence of them cheating. It just kind of the relationship fell apart, but you want there. You just, you feel like there was something behind the scenes, but there wasn't, um, it's used. That's where, dis that's where discernment is needs to be used. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to like explain. I just got finished eating as well. And I got spices up in me. <laughs> But, so let's say, let's say, um, with this breakup with Stacy and Gerald, all right, for the discernment, let's use it, let's get, let's get down and dirty with this so we can break it down for you all. Let's say that when they broke up, right, it wasn't over text, okay, it was like a face-to-face -face breakup, and it was just like, yeah, I don't think that we should just be together anymore, but you all still are like hanging out it's still good and okay right there's no 
there's no immediate clicking with someone there's not like an immediate like oh i'm gonna go out and fucking party and do shit there's no signifiers to prove that stacy was doing something like underhand not saying that going out and partying is underhand and that's where discernment kicks in as well but there's nothing sketchy about it you just feel like there is because deep down inside you don't like stacy all right, let's let's say that. Let's say you just don't like Stacy and you want there to be some sort of incriminating evidence. Maybe Stacy did something wrong to you in the like a while back or like Stacy gave you an offhanded comment and that really just took you the wrong way and you just didn't like Stacy ever since, you know, low key. Um using your discernment, knowing that Stacy didn't do anything um, and knowing that if Stacy did do something, there would be people around to tell. Using your discernment, though, um, just because you don't like Stacy doesn't mean that that's them. Just because you hear, um, like, oh, you know, funny instance, like, you know, I keep, you know, I'll use me an example, too. The, the whole fire sign situation, you know, a lot of us are dealing with fire signs, you know, we're dealing with all, all the signs, just to be real. But for my case in particular, one of my karmics is a fire sign. And instead of me um, saying that this one fire sign is the exact fire sign that I'm talking about in all my readings, and this fire sign is just so in my energy, it's not about me, it's about the collective. You know, there are energies of people with zodiac signs of fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, who are all doing different things. Now the word fire sign could be a trigger for your ego because you know so-and-so is a a sun sign. A sun, their sun is in fire, right? And you just don't like so-and-so because you know that so-and-so is doing black magic behind your back and you know this is their sign and you know that they're doing all this shit. It's not just use your discernment. Are you are you letting anger feel fuel? I mean, are you letting anger fuel that sort of dis, that sort of discernment, or are you positive that that person did that? Now, signs when you read and we say, let's say, oh, it could be a fire sign, water sign, whatever the fuck sign doesn't matter. You know, backwards ass two by four spooky scary spooky scary skeleton sign whatever the hell you know what i mean it doesn't matter what matters is that you remember and realize that it's not just a sun sign this could be a moon a venus a rising north node south node you know their lilith could be in that their centron could be in that their anubis could be in that you know what i mean it's not just um their fight that like it's not just about the sun sign their fourth house could be in a fire sign you know their their 12th house could be a fire sign placement these are things that we don't know about other people all we know about people is their main sign um unless you know no 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 for sure like you've done your astrology shit on them and you found out like their whole chart unless you fully know right that's where discernment kicks in unless you are tenfold positive that Stacy is this fire sign who who <laughs> cheated on Jared there's no need um to grab and run with it you know that's where spirit team comes in that's why we always say you know talk you know your ancestors are around you your angels are around you and they're not just around you to protect they're there for clarification and to help you use your discernment um, they're there to, as like a secondary affirmation, you know, them, you got the big three, you got, you know, you got divination if you're into divination, but then you usually just have prayer in God, you know, <laughs> you pray for confirmation, then you, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, oh my God, sorry, I was, I forgot, I don't know, I forgot, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I, mean, I was eating spicy food and that shit's got me ramped up, Indian food's baller, anyway, um, you do you do prayer for affirmation for confirmation i mean and then you get confirmation you know like oh you, you see like oh lord help me i want to know if this is truly happening in my life or not and then the next day the person the channel that you put the most energy into uh, will receive messages or could i shouldn't say will they have the chance to receive the message 
um, that you need, as well as just, you know, uh, maybe you're scrolling on YouTube and on your just your for you page, a channel that you've never seen before. You know, you've asked for this message, you asked for this clarification, is the title. That's the divine trying to talk to you, being like, hey, confirmation. That's where that's where it's at. And you might not be accustomed. You might not want to watch those things, those videos, because new energy, and you're like, oh, I don't want to. I want confirmation from my uh, from my choices. That's where your ego kicks in. Spirit uses different people for different reasons. Though you, it's like you know, you didn't you didn't just you know you haven't watched me since the beginning of time. I just been here for a few months. Um, but spirit led you to me for confirmation. <laughs> Same as spirits leads me to people for confirmation and people are led to other people for confirmation. It's just how it is. It's how spirit works. It's to bring the collective closer together instead of being so separated and spread apart. Um, and using your discernment and making sure that it is your discernment, not your ego, is very important for these readings. Just because like, you... Um, you will put in your head that someone is doing something that when they're not. <clears throat> um, big on what we've been picking up for collective. I'll even use that as an example where we pick up sometimes that someone feels like you're doing something to some to them because there's no other way that you're not attacking them and you're not attacking them. Same thing. Their ego wants them to be like, oh no, Collective is attacking me, and that's why I'm doing black magic on them because I don't want to seem weird. You know, that's the projection. That's the ego versus uh, discernment. Another thing to remember about readings is if you don't understand it, if it doesn't click with you, it's not for you. Um, especially when collective readings are a thing, even when it goes down to as specific as like sign readings they're like oh we're doing earth sign readings or water sign you know still use your discernment okay sun moon rising venus it's not just for you sun signers out there even though it would be beautiful if it was just like oh sun sign readings and stuff like that but we don't need to get that specific there i mean maybe you do i don't know do what you want to do maybe that's a new thing that's going to be popping up i don't know um but understanding that um, this is a kicker. Uh, I'm not meaning to step on anyone's toes, but this is just how it has to be said. Uh, you're not the first Earth sign um, to be in a situation like this, and you're not going to be the last Earth sign in some sort of predicament that's going to be picked up in tarot readings. Um, same goes for any other sign. Don't think I'm picking on your Earth signs. Okay, that's another thing. Don't, you know, we'll get into it when we get to it. But you're not the first. And you're not going to be the last, all right? <clears throat> so understanding that you have removed yourself from a situation, and maybe that situation still pops up, uh, and that energy still feels very harsh and prevalent to you, it's because not only do you need to heal from it, but there are others who are on the same frequency, going through the same experiences, that need that type of confirmation as well. Um, that's why sometimes in readings, information is repeated. Sometimes it's repeated because it's needed for extra confirmation. Other times it's repeated because someone has asked for a sign and they aren't going to go to one of your old videos to find it because God knows how long that's going to take unless they pray and ask for that. So it's, we'll just give them the new idea now. Um, it all depends. It's all just how the divine works. But when you ask for clarification, you will receive it. There's a need to not have doubt in that. And there's a need not to rush. Um, divine time is not this time. The divine does not have time. Um, there is no time. Um, only on, you know, here we have time, but it's fake. Um, in the ethers, there is no time. They get, they get what they have to do, they do what they have to do, and then it's over. There's no rush. There's no, ooh, it needs to be done by 8.30 p.m. on February the 7th. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be rushed. 
<clears throat> it's just there and it happens naturally um so that's another thing not rushing readings um as well as um not I want to say I don't want to I don't know how I'm going to say this but spirit wants me to talk about it don't push your own agenda on others um I have seen this a few times in some comments of readers where they'll be like this is wrong you know it's this instead or someone will comment something and then someone else in the comments will be like no you're incorrect you're wrong it's this instead that's not how it is um everyone is here to learn everyone is here to put their own puzzle together we all have different puzzles we're all putting different pieces of a puzzle together to make a bigger puzzle that's all it is so by saying someone's learnings are incorrect is wrong because every learning that we have is correct and incorrect at the same time based off of the duality the split from ego now there is the truth and then there's lies obviously but to get to the truth we have to scourge through the the trash you know the white lies the the gray lies the just the you know everything like you know the truth is hidden pretty deeply the elders didn't want us to know a lot about what's going on so we gotta do it ourselves um and that's what we're here to do um is learn in that way so not telling people unless they are like blatantly wrong right and who is to say that god you know unless someone is straight up you know talking out their ass thinking that they know something when they don't in the comments which again some people do um Still, don't pay mind to them. Just let them do what they want to do. Um, but, but telling a reader that their message is wrong um, is kind of weird. I'll be honest, especially because a lot of readers, especially with you, are in collective. You know, it's all about God. Uh, these are messages from God. And God sends messages to different people, always. And different people have different ways of expressing things. Always and forever. But we're all talking about the same thing, giving more and more detail on the problem at hand. And it's just a matter of if you want to resonate with that or not. Which again, where discernment comes in. Maybe you don't resonate with it because it's the way this person's talking about it. And they make this issue seem... I want to say more eccentric um, than how it is, or they just use choice words that don't fit your situation. Um, you know what I mean? There is a, a huge need of just using discernment um, with readings, though. Because a lot of people do get confused in readings, and I'll even admit, whenever I first started watching readings, um, I didn't understand much at all i was very confused i was very like not in it um but after a while after watch watching readings it got more and more familiar um with doing so with the uses of discernment understanding that words are not just a point blank center like you know going homeless doesn't mean you're gonna go homeless being homeless could just mean you lose somebody you know home is where the heart is you know using discernment wordplay is very very important uh, in tarot you know when you read when you read tarot you're not just reading the cards you're reading the energy you're allowing god to control or co-control your your vessel to see the signs, the synchronicities, the, the way through these answers. Um, it's all just a riddle at the end of the day that we all try to solve. And there is a need to not associate everything with the worst possible outcome. When we say death, it doesn't mean someone's dying. It just means there's an ending. Maybe there's a rebirth happening. You know, death isn't just, oh, you're dead. Um, you know, life leads into death, it leads into life, it leads into death, and it's an infinite loop. Um, 
So whenever you hear death, don't just assume, oh my God, someone's dying or, oh my God, like, fuck, I don't know, someone killed someone. It's like, no, death is just a rebirth. Maybe, maybe someone's like, maybe death pops up, you know, judgment and death is like, a, a you know, someone's being trialed by death. It's like, they're going to be able to go through a rebirth. They're going to have, they're going to have endings to start this new beginning off for them. And these endings could be good or bad. It doesn't, you know, it depends to the person, it depends on like the cards after and whatnot. And there's an importance to just remember that um, that everything has like more than one meaning, especially with the English language the way it is now. Like we've, oh man, we've had we have so many words that are spelt the same and mean different things. We have so many meanings for one word, and it just keeps getting more and more jumbled up. It's just alphabet soup out in these joints. But, um, okay, thank you, Spirit. Some key points for, I'm just letting it come to me naturally, by the way, so I'm sorry for it being a little jumbled. We're over here just explaining things the way it needs to be explained. Um, but for, for getting confirmations during readings, for me, usually, whenever something resonates with me, I will, you know, I'll feel the tingles, you know, I'll get tingly, I'll feel like an upliftment of soul um something will perk my interest a lot more than usual certain words and phrases will um paying attention to how the energy interacts with you um not just like oh this makes me happy this makes me sad how is it affecting your whole body um you're not just using your senses you know you, people think that the touch sense is just your hands no it's your entire skin um you feel with your entire like it's not like your hands are the only thing that feel and then after your wrist it's all fucking numb and you know can't feel nothing else just with my hands no it's your whole skin it's your whole body it's your whole energetic field how do the words affect your energetic field are they making your energetic field you know attract towards it more which would be a confirmation or is it making you feel as strange does it feel weird does it feel new does it spark an aha moment does this information that you're getting lead you down a path that leads you to your answer or is it just giving you something that satisfies how you want to feel about the situation now um you know, something really big to work work on with tarot especially whenever you first start getting in you have your ego is very hurt you're very much like i want this and that to happen to him um i want you know, I want them to go to jail. You keep saying they're going to be locked up and in jail. Like, yeah, but jail is, you know, you're locked in your vessel. You're trapped in a situation. Jail is like, you know, you're you're locked in and people are watching you. You know, you're in a secure your security breach is what I'm getting. But I don't, that's not what I'm trying to say. But like you're confined. You're trapped. You're locked in somewhere. You're behind the bars. Like you're in trouble. Um. um so this is well, it's just like. Making sure that you understand that not everything is as blunt as it seems. Um, and I know for some that may be hard to do. Um, but context clues and reading it in between the lines. Oh my gosh, what is going on? My whole body's exploding. Um, is very important for tarot. Uh, for watching it. Even for reading it. If you want to get into reading tarot, make sure that you are not responding out of ego out of anger um you know the 42 laws of mahat you know one of them is strictly do not i will not talk out of anger um anger covers up the truth you know because you're angry you want something to be done one way your your energy is so low vibrational and jagged that it ends up slicing and dicing this connection that you would have with spirit so always making sure that you come in with clean energy and making sure that you're not because uh, i used to do this whenever i first started watching tarot i would like watch a video and that video would make me mad and then i would just go down the pipeline um and it got the message mixed up pretty well yeah, for me so just remember that um that your discernment that words are important to remember um as well like just to ask your angels for confirmation as well and like make sure that you're doing your part 
because yes we give you what god wants you to know but there's also like that's just for a collective what do you need to know um you know only you can ask god for that i mean you could ask for a reading all day long and we'll will tell you things but it's like what does god want you to do because you and god also have a connection you wouldn't be watching these videos you wouldn't be feeling the certain way you would you wouldn't be receiving blessings after you know what i mean like you have this connection everyone has this connection with god um and it's unique to them I and mean, it's up to you to find out how god wants to communicate with you and how god wants to send these signals to you how god wants you to interpret certain things um as well and just remembering that there is no separation i mean that can be very hard especially on this realm where everyone is separated uh there is no separation um but yeah i feel like i don't know how el what else to um talk about for this i feel like i've done uh talk about i needed to talk about just discernment understanding that like when you read a sign it's not just in the sun it's all the, it could be anything you know we're just getting the zodiac we're not unless you know you know what i mean like you can go and get that deep but who has all the information about someone you know what i mean um but and that's i feel like that's what spirit wanted me to get out for a minute um i know it's pretty short but i feel like i i nailed it all um but i love you all to the moon and back um i hope this helps you just understand tarot a little bit more discernment uh, understanding like certain science and stuff also situations i should probably talk about situations too your sit situations right situations may seem similar and you may be confused why everything resonates until one part uh it's not because we lost the trail of your incident but it's because most same choices can lead to different outcomes um you know what i mean like you can't go through a test and fill in all c's because you have a b c and you know you have a b and d that could also be answers so that's all like you might be getting the same confirmations but you just need to take the tidbits leading up to the big finale of like your situation and then asking your gods for confirmation on that your god not your gods but god your angels your ancestors um your whole divine team but um i love you all to the moon and back tenfold and forever and i will see you later